Chapter 5 The Maltese Kitty This lesson is about a small kitty who is lost and Fred fri finds it in just in front of his house and then what happens? Let's read. Hathi, see that pretty kitty. I found where she came from. I wonder where she came from. Fred Carlton walked softly towards the puss his hands outstretched calling kitty pretty kitty until he had her in his arms now fred and hattie carlton they are brothers and sister and fred finds this small kitty right in front of his house and he tells his sister that see there's a very pretty kitty and he stretches his hand to pick it her pick her up in her in his arms his sister hattie took her hands from the dish water wiping them on the roller and came towards him she was washing dishes dishes and so she wiped her hand and then came close to him why fred she exclaimed that's ned perry's kitty clara says it's a real maltese they'll feel dreadful dreadfully when they know it's lost his sister when she saw the pussy she recognized that it was ned perry and clara perry they are again brothers and sisters living at a distance and it is their kitty or cat and it is a maltese cat maltese means belongs to the country of malta it's in europe so she says that they will be very uh, very unhappy and very sad when they come to know that the, their kitty is lost i wish they want they wouldn't mind said fred caressing the puss see how she loves me i'd like to keep her so much he says i wish they don't mind that i should keep her with me the kitty he, fred likes the kitty so much and he wants to keep her with him and i hope they don't mind see he says she likes me so much but would you have Ned, who is a roguish boy, catch one of your bantams and keep it? You'd call that stealing. His sister Hattie tells her that had tells him that if Ned, who is roguish, who is very rude and wicked type of a boy, if he catches one of your bantams, bantams is a variety of chickens. So he says that if he catches and keeps them, wouldn't you call it stealing? Is it? It is known as stealing. Then Fred said. Fred says, sign. Fred sighed. But I didn't go to catch her, Hattie. She came right into the door. I think that's different. Perhaps she's hungry. Fred says, but I have not gone to catch it, the cat myself. It has come inside the door. That is why she is inside in my house. I think that is different than stealing. So the sister, Hattie says, most probably she is hungry. That is why she has come here probably searching for food oh hathi may i try her with some milk he says fred says that let me try to give her some milk yes she answered laughing at his eagerness pour some into a saucer from the pitcher in the closet and see whether she will drink it hathi says that pour some milk into the saucer saucer is the plate that we put under the cup and she says from the pitcher take the milk now pitcher is like a uh, like a uh, tall jug she says take it from there and give it to her let's see if she drinks it he was rewarded by the sight of puss lapping up the milk now fred when he gave her the milk the cat was drinking the milk very quickly lapping the milk I do believe Kitty is thinking, thanking me, he said, laughing and clapping his hands. See how she keeps looking up. I never saw a kitty do so before. Now, when the kitty was having the milk, she was looking up at and looking up at Fred because probably he had given her the milk and she was very thankful so Fred says see how she's thanking me she's looking at me I've never seen a kitty do like that before puss did indeed seem to be grateful 
she lapped away at the milk with great eagerness and then she would look in the face of her benefactor and utter a soft little meow so puss the puss means the kitty or the cat she actually seemed to be very happy and thankful and grateful to the person who had given her the milk who was the person fred so the person who helps you is your benefactor so she is thanking him and lapping him lapping the milk and she is looking really very thankful lead to fred frederick called out mrs carlton from the head of the stairs isn't it time for you to go to school it's saturday ma i don't go today oh i forgot she said well come up here a minute fred obeyed carrying kitty in his arms what a pretty puss his mother exclaimed where did you find her now fred fred's full name is frederick so his mother mrs carlton she called out to him from the head of the stairs means from on top of the stairs and she said isn't it time to go to school then frederick reminded fred reminded mother that it is saturday and i don't go to school today so mother said okay i forgot but just come up for a minute there's some work so fred carried the cat in his hands and mother saw the pussy cat and the cat and she said oh it is so sweet where did you find her where did you get this cat from fred standing very erect and firm told all the circumstances related to his new friend and then asked what shall i do with her now fred told his mother all the details about the cat what how she came and what happened and all and then he asked her what should i do now carry her to mrs perry to be sure mother said go and give it back to them hmm. but it's a long walk and it's awful muddy ma couldn't i let her stay here and tell ned at sabbath school sabbath school is the classes of religious teaching that they have on sabbath on sunday so he says it is fred says the road is a very long distance and the road is very muddy can i keep it with her keep the cat with me and then tell ned on sunday when i meet him is that the way you would like ned to do if the kitty were yours perhaps he is looking everywhere for her now and mourning because his pet is lost mother said mother told explained to ned that is that the way you would like if your pet was lost most probably ned is looking for her for for the cat because she's lost and he must be mourning he must be feeling sad because his pet is lost frederick sat for a moment stroking the cat's soft fur then he started up exclaiming i'll go right off i don't care if it's muddy i know ned will be so glad then fred thought for a moment stroking the cat's fur and then he said i will immediately go and give the cat to ned and he will be very happy and very glad it was indeed quite a task for a child of only 8 years to carry a half grown cat on a muddy road for a third of a mile that means they are saying that it was it was actually a lot of work for a child who is only 8 years old to carry almost a big half grown means almost a big adult cat in his hands across the muddy road for a long distance but fred anticipated with delight the pleasure should it should give and the thanks he would receive now but fred was actually anticipating already thinking in advance that when i when he will reach there and give the cat to ned he will be delighted ned would be very happy and all the thanks that he would receive would make him very happy one skitty not liking to be held so tightly escaped from his arms and led him a chase over the wall into the marshy field but he caught her again at last and laughed alone by himself imagining how ned and clara would have run to meet him as soon as they saw what he was carrying now once what happened the kitty escaped from his hand because she was not wanting to be caught 
in his hand uh, to be held so tightly and she went and ned had to chase behind her run behind her to catch her from the fields but even then ned was happy because he was going to he was thinking imagining that clara and ned would be very happy and thankful when they would meet him and see the cat in his hands hadi had finished washing the dishes and had swept the dining room and kitchen when happening to look from the window she saw fred coming back now hadi had already finished washing the dishes and was cleaning the dining room and the kitchen when she from the window she saw ned coming uh, fred coming back he scrubbed the mud from his boots and came into the kitchen his face expression expressive of the greatest disgust he removed the mud that was on his boots and he came into the catch kitchen and his face the expression of his face was that of disgust and annoyance what's the matter now inquired his sister laughing at his comical expression didn't you get the safe home get the safe home yes he says sister asks laughing what happened now did you not get the house he said yes i got the house then she goes on to ask well weren't they glad to find her i didn't see anybody but mrs perry and she was just as cross as she could be she never thanked me a mit one mit one mit means not even little bit did she thank me she first the sister asked did you not find were they not happy with the cat so he says that there was no one around the house only mrs perry was there and she didn't even say one bit of thank you she only looked at my boots as if she was afraid i was going to walk in and then she said well put her down cats are a great bother anyways mrs perry was maybe not happy that he had brought the cat back and she said okay okay put it down cats anyways are not very nothing to bother about and probably she was more worried that fred may dirty the house with the dirty muddy boots why didn't you tell mrs perry you would take her back again i should think she might have thanked you anyways anyhow so uh, clara says that i think you should have told her that you will take the cat back again and probably then she would have thank you i hate not to be thanked exclaimed fred fred says i don't like that no one thanks me when no one thanks me i don't like it it is very very bad especially when you took pains to go so far through all this mud sister says ha huh, is right especially when you have taken all that pains to go that distance in the mud to carry that big cat with you next time kitty comes here crying and trying to come in i'll keep her myself i'm as tired as i can be i had to chase her so fred took off his boots and went upstairs where his mother sat sewing to relate his grievances to her fred said is next time if kitty comes here i'm going to keep her whether anyone likes it or not i'm going to keep her and i now i am feeling very tired i have done so much of work i have run around run behind chase the kitty to catch her and then to take her there and then he took off his boots and he went upstairs where his where his mother was sewing to tell her also what trouble he went through and to complain to her about what all he went through and that mrs perry didn't even thank him so that's the story about